new study from the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center shows that although white and black Americans are diagnosed with rectal cancer at roughly the same rates, African Americans are less likely to receive chemotherapy or radiation treatments. We recently did a new study from the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center to better understand the discrepancy in survival rates between black Americans and white Americans with rectal cancer. Although we found no discrepancy between African Americans and whites in the initial consultations with uh, chemotherapy doctors or oncologists, we found a large discrepancy in the rates of receipt of chemotherapy. African Americans, after they see a, a medical oncologist, are uh, receiving chemotherapy at a rate of about 52 percent, whereas white patients, after seeing a medical oncologist, are receiving chemotherapy at a rate of about 70 percent. The ramification of the disparity in use of chemotherapy and radiation for rectal cancer patients, um, for African American rectal cancer patients specifically, is decreased survival. Chemotherapy and radiation are known to improve survival at a rate of about 20%, which is a lot. Um, coincidentally, that's about the same rate, uh, that's about the same difference in survival between African Americans and white Americans. Now that we have evidence based on this study from the University of Michigan Comprehensive Cancer Center that step one, the visit with the oncologist, is not actually different between these two populations, African Americans and white Americans, our next step is going to be to try to better understand what are the human factors that are contributing to this discrepancy. We hypothesize that this may be due to things that are important to patients that may be different among different populations. There may be patient preferences involved. There may be issues of resources that affect access to care, resources like transportation issues. Mm -hmm.